Gina Palace here with Home Bodies. Today I'm going to show you a great way to be able to tell whether or not you are actually breathing in a 360 fashion. The cool thing about this test is it not only will serve as a test, but it's actually a great exercise in and of itself to help you practice your 360 breathing and make sure that you're able to do it while in standing, which is the position that most of us will want to start with. So to be able to tell if you're 360 breathing, what I'm going to have you do is place your index finger on the side of your ribs and place your thumb toward the back of your ribs. You want to hold lightly enough that you're not going to prevent your ribs from expanding when you breathe. So I'm going to have you go ahead and take a breath in and breathe out. Let's try it again. Now you can check in. Did you feel your index finger move? If you did, that's a great sign that your side ribs are moving. Did you feel your thumb move? If you didn't feel your thumb move, that means your back ribs really aren't participating in your breath. So what a lot of people end up doing when they breathe is their front ribs expand a lot. And you can even test that out by placing your hands there. While you're feeling your ribs, is your belly really expanding a lot? Yes, we do want the belly to expand forward, but we also want to be sending air to the side and the back. The reason is when our lungs are expanding in a 360 way, we are balancing the pressure in our system. Whereas when we breathe all at the front, we can be actually pushing pressure forward. And if you have a diastasis or a hernia, of course, that's even more detrimental for you. But then the other option you would have when you're breathing heavily, especially when you're under high exertion, is you could be sending the breath down towards your pelvic floor. And that can cause symptoms such as leaking or even pelvic organ prolapse. So working on your 360 breathing is a great first step. You can check in during the day and practice it. Maybe every time you go to have a meal or possibly even when you're standing in line somewhere, once you've gotten used to doing it with your hands, you will be able to actually do the 360 practice without having to hold. But I do recommend that you hold just to get the feeling and get that feedback on whether or not your side and back ribs are in fact moving when you take your breath.